what it do and how the hell are all of you with yours truly Petra motherfucker back in this motherfucker for one last one of 2019 it's been a dream it, it has I gotta, I gotta say that I have I've loved putting podcasts together left and right doing the notes coming up with all kinds of shit trying to come up with different things different thoughts you know all kinds of shit it's just it's been fun it's been a blast uh going in 2020 we're gonna stick with the same format that i've been doing these last few ones short sweet and simple getting to the point i still love my long ones I'm still gonna do my long ones here and there if it's really something you know go in on but as for right now i just i just like doing them short ones keeping it short and simple for everybody because i know everybody kind of likes them shorter ones who wants to really sit and listen to someone yammer for fucking an hour and a half um probably is easier if i have someone else like i had token tech the one time Hoping to get him back on at some point. We've tried. It's just as fell through. So definitely hoping to get some other guests on sooner than later. But uh, until then, uh, you know, we're going to keep cracking these bitches out. And it is what it is. Uh, I'm going to start. Uh, I think I'm going to do the music one first. Yeah, we finna do the music one first. Because the music one just popping. You know what I'm saying? Just pop. So I'm just going to start with uh, with an artist that I've I've just got to uh, just got to start to listen to. His name is Mises. Uh, dude's another just fucking talented rapper. Uh, the first song I heard of his was he was dissing, uh, Nick Cannon, DJ Vlad, and Lord Jamar. Uh, the diss was legitimate, just fire. He had, uh, some ser- pretty good punchlines in there. Uh, the, the, mu- the visuals was just dope. He had that, like, broken down fucking house, uh, had the, uh, do not enter signs on the front, you know, from the state when the state's saying this shit's been condemned, this, that, the other. It was dope. Uh, the song's called Guest. Because uh, Nick Cannon made a reference that, and I mean, it, Nick Cannon really didn't make the reference, Lord Jamar did, but Nick Cannon definitely backed that shit up by saying that uh, white people are uh, guests in hip-hop, and I think a lot of white MCs took a lot of, took a lot from that, like, y'all are really fucked up, because, I mean, Nick Cannon, he ain't really dropped nothing legendary ever, music-wise, I mean, I, I talked about him in the last one, uh, but he ain't never really dropped nothing legend-wise, and Lord Jamar, I had to look up what the fuck group he was part of. Uh, so that would say he has never really dropped anything legendary. Granted, he might have put some work in, but, I mean, it never touched my motherfucking radar, and maybe that's because I listen to him. Maybe that's, maybe that's why. <laughs> Who fucking knows? But, uh, Mises' uh, disc was, it was pretty fucking fire. I, I, I can't go, can't go off on that one. That, that was, it was, it was dope. He went the fuck in. Well, then, today, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm surfing the YouTube, and, uh, Mises went at Nick with another fucking bar, with another diss, just titled Nick. He just went the fuck at him, uh, and, I mean, the bars were definitely meant to speak his point. He made, he made that shit utterly clear. He had a hoodie on in the music video that said, uh, hip-hop is a culture, not a color, and I would, I'd back that up. I would say at this point, I mean, maybe I, when it started out, maybe it was a color. Maybe when hip-hop really first started, maybe it was just a... A black only thing, but it is growing massively since then. It has touched everybody, every color, every race, every everything. It has touched everywhere. I mean, I, I grew up arguing the rap is crap statement with people that loved metal and loved rock. You know, old old heads and shit that hated rap. I argued with them, so I would I would really take some offense to that if. If Nick was like, well, you're, it's, it's, a, it's a color thing. So I just was arguing for no reason then? Is, is that his point? <clears throat> either way, I kind of went off on a tangent there. But either way, he, he went the fuck in. And uh, it means this, you just check him out. He's, he's got a Duck Dynasty fucking beard, a long beard. Uh, shit, is, shit is just kind of a riot. Like, just to see a dude with a beard that long rap. He reminds me of a Beard Meets Food, uh, this dude in... Uh, uh, I just say Europe, but he lives in Europe and he does he does these food challenges and shit on YouTube. Dude, it's hilarious. Got a fucking they both got just got long beards. In my notes it says a Duck Dynasty beard. This shit just I mean he spits like tech. He's got some. He's really I mean not not as fast, but it, I get like just just the way he he spits. Like I I bet he listens to tech. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And uh, I mean that is what it is. What it is that the music video was just it was very it was a very good music video. I was very. It was it was just like I said. It was a good music video. I Mises definitely put down some fucking put down some fire on that shit, and he went at him and he went at him with 
with some fire, and I, I respect him for that. I mean, Nick Cannon, they wanted all the smoke. They wanted that shit from M, and it looks like they got it from everybody else except M. But moving on to that, I mean, I got to I gotta say this. I'm a little biased when it comes to <clears throat> Adam Calhoun. I am going to say I'm a little biased. Uh, I've pretty much liked all of his music across the board, and some of the songs I didn't like, I don't have an issue with the songs outside of the fact that I just don't really relate to them. So... Again, it's not bad music. Adam Calhoun dropped a music video for a song, Dennis Rodman. Uh, he the the lyrics in the video in the music in the song are just fucking. It, it's a fucking fight song. It is what it is. He disses Hoser like fucking ten times. Him and Hoser went at it over Facebook. Hoser was talking about uh, give me your address, you get these fucking hands, get your ass beat. Calhoun has made it clear he has pulled up to all the spots that Hoser sent him, and he be moving every two months. This that other thing. It was. To read that was kind of fucking dope to see Adam Calhoun just, and him and Hoser going back and forth. It was kind of dope to read that. Granted, there's a lot of comments in between there and theirs, you know, obviously feeding the fire. But I don't think Hoser wants those hands. Um, that's just, that's my opinion. Uh, that being said, the music video was dope as shit. Like I said, it's definitely a fight song. Um, get your, uh, he had a, he had a line there, I hope you OD in the Mickey D's parking lot. That... That's not the way he had the line, but that's that's basically what he means. He hopes you take a bunch of pills and go die in the McDonald's parking lot. I mean, that shit at home, man. Like I said, I just relate to a lot of his fight music, his his who look the who looking song with him at Upchurch, fucking war rap shit. I just a lot of his music. I relate to that shit. And uh, yes, I mean he had a son do the his son was in the music video. Not it wasn't his song, but he was rapping the song, and. I know that's churches. I know that I'm not church. I know that's Adam Calhoun's son. I know that is. But a lot of people that maybe I don't follow him like that might not know who that boy is. But that that music video that was dope as shit to have his son just wiling it out in the fucking music video. I couldn't couldn't argue that that was a good music video. Props to Calhoun for dropping that shit. Uh, props to him for going at Holzer in the fucking comments. The shit was dope. Uh, like I said, there's major props for Lee. I just even my notes says major props to Adam Calhoun for leaving 2019 with a bang and entering 2020 swinging at the fucking caps of the haters, man. Uh, it was a very it was a shorter song, uh, only like no, I don't think it cracked three minutes. I think it was maybe cracked two minutes fifty seconds. But either way, the song uh, it went it went it went hard and it went in. It is what it is, and mad props to Calhoun for dropping that shit. Definitely a song I'm gonna be banging a lot. Definitely a song I'm gonna be banging. And then back to that Nick shit. So Charlie Clips spoke in an interview as to why they went at him. Basically said that Cannon told him to come on the track. Just, you know, to get out there. And granted, he has a good point. Um, hundreds of million people are going to listen to that fucking song just because them. they're going at him. So they're going to get notoriety, whatever the fuck they're looking for. They're going to get it from that song. So he has a solid point and you're going to get publicity, whether it's good, bad, ugly, whichever. Your name's going to get out there. And it did, it did. He had people, you know, people that never heard of these motherfuckers looking them up. So that that's a good one. I mean, that's a good point. But Charlie even said they tried to bait him into this. They tried to they tried to bait him into it. And uh, I don't think you can bait him. I just I just don't think you can. Um, Joiner went on Twitter and said he don't. They need to quit before they really get some hitters in there and shit. And then uh, Charlie said that. Uh, they got monsters around them too. They got monsters. Now, I just wrote down a th couple, but let's let's just let's just name three of M's monsters: Fifty, Royce, and Joiner. That's just three of however many. All he has to do is ask, and these dudes will drop fucking eight, sixteen, thirty-two bars on these heads left and right. That's all you gotta do is ask, because there are a lot of younger rappers. That have openly said in their music that Eminem helped influence their music. He helped bring them to where they are music-wise. Same with Tech 9 Same with Lil Wayne. Same with The Game. 50. So many of these artists that we grew up to, my age grew up listening to, they're getting homage now because some of these artists have made it. And they're paying homage to these guys that they listened to growing up. And M normally is on the list. Might not be number one, might not be number five, but he's on that fucking list. I just guarantee you he is. And uh, a good point that was made by the reactor that was reacting is, I don't remember who I who was reacting to it. It was a, good, a No Life Shack. No Life Shack even said, M 
dissed himself and roasted himself in 8 Mile and in so many different songs, there's not much Charlie, Nick, Hitman, Holla, Conceited, Dre, any of them could come up with that M hasn't said about himself. You know, and uh, it just... Clips, Clips was, uh, Charlie, Clips was saying they was waiting for him to snap back so they can finally go in. And I, when he said that, I just was like, uh, I don't know if I believe that. They're battle rappers. So yes, I know they understand how to bait and how to, you know, get you to, get you all riled up and get you to come in. I get that. But I don't think they understand. M doesn't need to come at them. He get, what's he going to gain? More fans? He already got mil- hundreds of millions of fans. Millions of dollars. Like, some of the disses they threw out there was like taking care of another man's kid. Some uh, he's still a drug addict and has been a sober for eleven years. Is it really a bad thing to take care of another man's kid if they want it? Like some of the disses they threw out there were the same disses we would have heard when I was a kid. And that shit's lame to me. I'm sorry, it just is lame. I'm not. I'm, I don't know. What to tell them it's fucking lame. And uh, Charlie said that they would have taken away. From Nick and Nick's disses, if they truly went at him, basically saying there's only so many hard lines you're gonna be able to come up with, and they wanted to leave those for Nick. But Nick's verses were utter shit, shit, not good. They were shit, shit. No good, no bueno, nothing. They were bad, and that's why a lot of us think you need. He needed to have so many other heads on the track to make the track somewhat good. And like uh, Denass, Dennis or Denass said uh, in his song, like, I'm sorry to say this, but like, yeah, you got Suge Knight on there. Suge, Suge Knight's in prison. Sorry, but Suge Knight had to hang fucking Vanilla Ice over a fucking railing to get his music uh, rights. I'm sorry. Suge Knight is nothing more than a fucking overgrown thug. Oh, is he going to hit somebody with his car again? Oh, because that's what he did. Like, let's let's keep that shit 100. <laughs> And now that Clips, Charlie Clips said the plan didn't work out, now they're going to probably try some other way. And a lot of people said that they just wanted the clout. They chased the clout, you know. But it, it's to stay, it's really to stay relevant. They wanted M to go on wild and out. He has no reason to go on wild and out, but that's what they wanted. So they're just going to keep sending jabs, this, that, the other thing. That's what I got from it. Mind you, this is all my opinion. But that's what I got from it, that they're just going to keep trying to bait him until he comes out swinging because that's what they want. I don't know why they would want that, but I guess. Anything to make them a little bit more known, you know. And this is my last this is my last thing. MGK said what he said, however long ago he said it, right? It took M a few years to come back. Not that he didn't think about it or want to, but M is very methodical in the way he does things. Obviously, you can tell his old age. He's pretty methodical in the way he's going to come at you. Well, he went at MGK, and then he torched his ass. So maybe in a couple of years, when we've all this all died down, maybe Emma will just surprise us with another record or another song or whatever and just light these motherfuckers up. Maybe it'll be sooner. Maybe it'll be longer. Who knows? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But until then, until then, the talking shit just continues. That's really all that happens. And then it'll die off and Nick will probably say some other shit that makes it pop back up. But until then, we just wait and see. But... Mises is handling M's light work pretty easily. Just saying. So, check out Mises. Definitely someone to check the fuck out. Now, I didn't want to speak on this last subject, really. Really, it's not something that I wanted to touch on. Um, but, because other people are, and it is, I mean, uh, Upchurch did put a video out about it. Um, I think I'm going to touch on it. Uh, so, Upchurch and Katie Noel, they were dating. And uh, if you don't know who Ryan Upchurch is, you're sleeping under a fucking rock like Patrick Starr. If you don't know who Katie Noel is, I'm not going to say you're sleeping under a rock like Patrick Starr. She's not a very well-known name outside of, if you listen to like Adam Calhoun, Upchurch, some of these people that she's done features with. We'll get into the music in a, in a couple minutes. But, they were dating... Uh, ended up getting tattoos of, like, his and her tattoos, this, that, other thing. Church spent some money on house, re- put, put new flooring in, ATVs, these things, that, the other thing. And she broke up with him, or they split up, but how it happened was...